Aloha and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. You can find us at beachwalks.tv. Hello everybody. The uh, topic on my mind for today is numbers, math. I actually love math. I always scored higher in math than verbal on those SAT kind of things. And uh, you know, I've used it in very oddball ways in my life. Not so much in terms of a career, but in terms of how I let numbers inform my understanding of the world. And increasingly I let numbers bring me comfort um, and it's a very insignificant trivial thing that got me to this place but our car is uh, about six and a half years old but it only has 40,000 miles on it and when I tell this to people from the mainland they're like oh my gosh how is that even possible but of course we live on an island and we can't drive that far and we walk and take our bike and we have a, a moped that we use for little things around town so we don't have to use the car all that much and so, you know, do I want to think of my car as six and a half years old, which seems kind of old, or do I want to think of my car as only having 40,000 miles on it? Really, those two different numbers conjure up very different energy. And it's the same kind of concept as, you know, is the glass, uh, if the glass is 0.5 full, is that half empty or is that half full? And really, you know, both things can be true. A lot of people say that statistics and numbers can be made to prove anything, therefore they have no value. But I say that, you know, that's not necessarily bad news. That can be very good news because then I can use the numbers to help me feel better in the moment. In other words, I can interpret the data of my life the way that I wish to make it work for me. So I happen to be someone who likes emptiness as much as fullness depending on the day and the time. So sometimes I want to interpret the glass half empty and sometimes I want to interpret it half full and in, in both cases that can be helping me feel better rather than feel worse. So the Hawaiian word halu is the word for numbers or counting. So uh, let's make things count the way we want them to count this week. Instead of measuring and feeling one down or coming up short, lots of little uh, analogies here today. Uh, not analogies, but what are those little metaphors? Let's make things count the way we want them to count. So that's my plan, and thank you so much for joining us here on a beautiful day in Hawaii. Happy, happy aloha and springtime.